three-dimensional coordinate system. Uh, in the plane, we just need two coordinate, uh, coordinates to determine the place of a point. But for a um, point in the space, we need three-dimensional coordinate system. How to, de uh, how to define our three-dimensional uh, coordinate system? We actually we choose three vectors three unit vectors that perpendicular to each other. We call this we call this uh, three three vectors as I J K. They are perpendicular to each other and uh, these three uh, three uh, vectors determine three axes. We call these three axes as x, y, and z axes. Uh, and uh, uh, these three vector um, follows from the right right hand rule i j k should be a unit vector and there starts there start point and uh, or placed at the point o we call this o as o as origin point or origin and uh, i j k follows from the right hand uh, right hand row right hand or right hand orientation What is right hand orientation? What is right hand orientation? If this is the first uh, uh, is the first uh, vector, we put our uh, our fingers points to the positive direction of the first uh, first uh, vector and then curve our finger by 90 degree to the second to the second vector this is this way first uh, we put our finger this way the positive the positive direction of the first uh, first uh, vector then curve our fingers by uh, counterclockwise con counterclockwise by 90 degree to the second to the second uh, vector our thumb points to the positive di direction of the third vector that's the right hand orientation we put, we point our finger to the positive uh, positive direction of the first vector then curve our uh, fingers 90 degree counterclockwise to the second vector our thumb point to the our thumb point to the positive direction of the third vector. That's the right hand orientation. I, J, K should follow the right hand orientation. And uh, after we uh, establish the three dimension coordinate system, there is some uh, definition of, the, of this system. 
the coordinate plane. The x axis and uh, the point O and the y axis follow the x O y plane. That's x O y plane. And the x O C follow the x O C plane. And uh, the Z X uh, Y O Z follow the Y O Z plane. That's called uh, these three planes are called uh, coordinate plane. Coordinate planes. The three coordinate planes uh, divide the three uh, and the div divide the three space uh, three dimensional space into eight octants. We call the, fir the, the first, the second, and uh, until to the eighth, the eighth of the octants. X O Y X O C and uh, Y O C planes. Eight octants. The first octant should X, Y, Z or greater than zero. The second should X less than zero. Y Z greater than zero. The third should x, y less than zero, and z greater than zero. And uh, four, the fourth octant should x less than zero. Oh, okay, uh, that's x greater than zero, y less than zero, and z greater than zero. That's that's the uh, the upper the the upper half of the of the uh, space and the lower half the lower half of the uh, space x y greater than zero and z less than zero the six the six uh, option should be x uh, less than zero y greater than zero and z less than zero Seven x y z or less than zero and uh, the eighth octant should be x greater than zero y uh, z less than zero. That's the eight octants. Okay, uh, we established the um, the three dimensional coordinates. Then any vectors can be represented by the coordinate coordinates or the coordinates. Any uh, vector a can be equal to for any vector a there exist. There exist m such that in in uh, in the space such that a equals o m. We put the Actually, we put the uh, we uh, place the uh, start point of A at the origin. Then there's M. That's A. O M equals A. And if we uh, if we know that the end point of M is 
x, y, z. So the, uh, for any m can be, can be uh, can correspond to one vector, and uh, any vector can correspond uh, corresponds to a point in the space. Um, we uh, show how to uh, relate this correspond corresponding. If we uh, use O M as a diagonal of uh, cubes and the three axes as a length of of these cubes, then we have. Mm -hmm. Draw this one. This is that's the cubos. That's the keyboard. Okay, um, if we write this as uh, P Q N R H, then we know that for from the from the action of vectors, we know that uh, O M can be write as three vector the uh, addition of three vector that is O P plus P Q plus uh, we write this as uh, this point as S uh, that's M uh, plus Q plus Q M Actually, OP, uh, PQ, PQ is, uh, is this, PQ is equal to ON, ON, and the QM, QN, uh, M, uh, QM equals OH. They have the same length, same direction. And no, uh, we know that OP is the same direction as I. We write if the, the length, if the length of OP is X, then OP can be written as X times I. If ON, the, the length of ON has the length of Y, then it's Y times J. And OA, has length of v, absolute value of z, if the downwards and uh, uh, downwards they should be less than zero because OH is the same direction as k. So any vectors can be read as uh, the addition of three. Uh, coordinate vectors. If we put n uh, for n vectors, if we put uh, put the uh, start point as the origin, then then this uh, vectors can this vector can be represented as addition of three coordinate vectors. Actually, x y z is coordinate of m. So sometimes we write a vector as just the coordinate of it. Actually, any point in the space can be re, uh, can represent a vector, and any vector can uh, can present uh, represent a point 
or uh, can represent our point in the space because uh, each point can um, form a vector from the origin and uh, and the vector the, the end point of the vector is uh, actually is the point of, of uh, the coordinate of the, the, the vector has the same coordinate with, with the uh, end point. So the coordinate always uh, always represent a vector or a point. After we have the decomposition of vectors, we can use the coordinates to to do some operations of vectors. Operation of vectors using coordinates. If A equals A1 plus uh, A1, A2, A3, that means equals A1, I plus A2, J plus A3, K. And B equals B1, B2, B3, that means we just we just uh, uh, notice that that uh, the coordinate of point is is the same uh, coordinate of uh, coordinate of the vector. That is b one i plus b two j plus b three k. So first the addition a plus b. Actually, we can write as a one i plus a two j plus a three k as plus b one i plus b two j plus b three k. We use the we use the rules of the operation or use the rules of uh, addition. Then we got a1 plus a plus b1 i plus a2 plus b2 j plus a3 plus b3 k. Actually, we write as uh, uh, coordinates that is a1 plus b1 a2 plus b2 a3 plus b3 uh, so uh, two vectors add together just the uh, correspond uh, correspond uh, members add together or correspond to coordinates add together The second is lambda times a. That is lambda a1, lambda a2, lambda a3. That's actually as lambda a1i plus lambda a2j plus lambda a3k. If, if a vector uh, multiply by scalar that is every coordinate uh, multiplied by this uh, scalar and the third one the the length the length of a vector that is square root a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square because use the uh, Pythagor Pythagorean theorem we got this we got this one it 
if this is a1, this is a2, this part is a3, so the length, the length use Pythagoras theorem. If we call this L, that is a1 square plus a2 square is L square, and L square plus a3 square that is that is a the length of square. So we got a the, the length of a is square root a3 square plus l square equals square root a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. That's the length of a vector. Uh, for any vector, we can uh, find the unit vector, which is this uh, has the same direction with a. That is that has the same direction. A. And as we call E, maybe we write it as A. That is A divided by its length. We can get a unit vector for, from, from A that has the same direction as A. This lens uh, obviously uh, has has the lens one because E A that is we know that is one. Now let's get some examples. The Easy, easy, uh, some easier examples. If a equals two negative three six, and b equals one one four, uh, find out find out the length of a. The vector a plus b, the vector 3a plus 4b. The length of a, that is square root a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square, that is square root. 4 plus line plus 36, that is square root 40 line, that is 7. So the length of A is 7. And A plus B, just add the uh, correspond, corresponding coordinates together. So that is 2 plus 1, negative 3 plus 1 and 6 plus 4, that is 3, negative 2, and 10. And 3a plus 4b, that is 3, 2, negative 3, 6 plus 4, 1, 1, 4, that is 6, negative line 18 plus 4 4 16 that is 10 negative 5 34 that's 3a plus 4b 
we use the rules, the operation rules. And another example, if A equals 2, negative 4, 7, find the unit vector. Which uh, has seven uh, has the same direction with A. So uh, this solution is the E A is uh, a divided by the length of a first we find the length of a that is square root uh, 2 square negative 4 plus negative 4 square plus 7 square that is 4 plus 16 plus 49 so that is square root of 16, 69. So EA, that is 1 over A, 1 over the length of A times A. So that is 1 over square root 69 times the A is 2, negative 4. 7. We, we can de uh, multiply the scalar inside the coordinate. That 1 over, uh, that's 2 over 2 over square root 69. Negative 4 over square root 69. And 7 over square root 69. Now we find that if we use the coordinate for vectors, the uh, operation should be easier to, to, to compute for like the addition, scalar, scalar multiplications, and uh, find the lanes, and uh, maybe others, maybe, maybe others, uh, other computations. We can use them uh, the next time.